Hi, I'm Paul, pastor for Colton Community Church in Colton, California. Hey, today is day 22 in our Advent series. And in just a couple of days, we're going to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. I have a question for you. Have you ever had one of those days where things just didn't go right for you? Where things just didn't, no matter what you did, it, it didn't work? You could be working on a project and you tried to get everything working right and the project just continued to fall apart. It, it didn't work and now you left with pieces all over the place and you don't know where to begin or where to start. Or maybe, maybe you've been trying to write a paper, maybe you've been trying to um, present a project at work, or even, even cooking dinner. It just didn't go right. Well, this is all of us, we need this song today. Because the song has a refrain, it says, good news, 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 we hear news. News is that the Christ, the Savior was born. And so all of a sudden, our problems become less because we begin to pay attention to the news that Jesus was born. And then, then the second stanza has the words, joy, joy. Oh, oh, we, we find joy, not in the fact that our projects and our purpose and our things didn't work today, but we find joy in the fact that Christ became human. And then it says to rejoice. Oh, we get to rejoice. Joy, rejoice over the good news that Jesus Christ is born. And then somehow that puts our projects in perspective. And it puts our value in perspective because we truly are worth more than the sum of our projects. We truly are worth more than whether or not we got accomplished our tasks today or our to-do list was done and, and therefore we get to start tomorrow fresh and new and everything worked well or we're truly worth more if everything didn't go well. We are worth God sending his own son. You have immense value and maybe you need to be reminded of this today that you need to find joy, you need to find rejoicing in the fact that God loves you and that God has a purpose for you and it's greater than whatever you're finding anxiety with over the moment. All right, so spend some time today rejoicing, reflecting, remembering, and recalling all of the great things that God has done for you. Put your life in perspective. You know, yeah, you'll have dinner tomorrow. Ah, the to-do list will be there tomorrow. Things will be okay. All right, take joy today. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.